Hey, I'm Nick with OnlineBusiness.tv, and in this video, I wanna talk about niche websites. What are niche websites? Is this something that you wanna build for your business? I think it could be, in fact, I think it should be. It's one of the easiest and best ways, I think, to make money online. So a niche website versus a blog, something like that. A niche website is simply a website that you create with content on the site that people will find, usually through searching on Google or some type of search engine like that, which will bring traffic to your website and then you monetize it so you can make money off of that traffic. Think of it no different than having a billboard in the old days and people would drive by it, that was the traffic, and you could monetize it by selling ad space on the billboard. Well, websites and niche websites are similar. You're building the site, you're creating the content, you're driving traffic to it, hopefully through Google, so you're not really even paying for that traffic. People are finding their way there because you write content that answers the questions they're asking or the things they're searching for. And then you sell ads, ad space on your website, or maybe you use, um, you make money through affiliates. Like you talk about some products on Amazon or something like that, and you link to it. And then if sales are made over there, then you get a percentage of that income. If it's Amazon, you're not getting a good percentage of that income, but maybe you make a deal with some other vendor and you get a higher percentage of that income. So there are other ways to monetize it as well. Maybe you sell your own information product or membership or courses or anything like that. But that in a nutshell is what a niche site is. So if somebody says a blog, they might mean a niche site. They might not. They might mean their blog where they just write about what they're thinking or I don't know, tips or advice for the industry that they're in without any idea of actually driving traffic to it you know, and, and making money off that. So somebody could blog and it could just be no different than posting on social media and just sharing something every few days about your life or tips that would help other people. If it's a niche site, you might call it a blog, but it has a, a, a specific purpose to drive traffic and to make income passively. You know, you're writing, you're working on it. It's not truly passive because you got to put a lot of work on the front end, but then it can become passive because you could not work on it for six months and maybe still make the exact same, not the exact same, but close to the same amount of money every month from the work that you've already done. So let's jump in and take a look here at a couple different niche websites. I'm gonna show you five different niche websites here. We're gonna start out with camperreport.com. Camper Report is a website that was created by Jim and Ricky at Income School. And if you want, I'll link my video here where I review Income School. And if you're interested, you can check out onlinebusiness.tv slash income school for that. I started out as a member of their Project 24 membership, the Income School membership, learning how to build niche websites, even though it's something that I had dabbled in for over 10 years. And it's been really helpful. This is a site that they created that they eventually sold, but it's all about obviously campers. They have the menu up top here where you can see they have buyer's guides. So I'm going to jump in there and show what what that looks like. So if I click on buyer's guides, 10 must have RV camping accessories for working RVers. Okay, so as we jump into this article, picture up top, all of this is pretty standard. See there's ads running on the side here. We got a GoDaddy ad, right? I've been on GoDaddy recently, so it makes sense that they're serving that ad up to me. I've been on Airbnb recently, so it makes sense they're serving that ad up to me. Now, of course, they'll serve ads you haven't been to yet either right? Down here's Uber. I don't think I've used Uber in a long, long time. So you never know what you're going to get there, but they're monetizing this site with ads. Now, again, they sold it. I don't know who owns this website now, but it's pretty simple, right? 10 must have RV camping accessories, a Wi-Fi booster, a multi-outlet power strip. So this is clearly written at, to also drive affiliate income. If I mouse over this right here, this link to this Marshall Monitor Bluetooth over-ear headphones, in the bottom corner of my window there, you can see that it links to Amazon and it has the tag. See that tag equals knowledge share uh, dash 20. So whoever owns this website now, that's their Amazon affiliate tag. So if I click over to Amazon, if I buy this Bluetooth, these Bluetooth headphones, or even if I buy something else within that day, then they're gonna get a commission, a percentage of everything that I buy you know, depending on what Amazon's rates are and the things that I buy. I mean, maybe I buy the Bluetooth headphones and they get that percentage. Maybe I don't buy them, but you know what? I needed to get that chlorine for my pool and they get they get a piece of that. So 
this is a, a great example of what a niche website could be. Now, this site is actually very large and very successful. They have some key things you need to have on your niche site at the bottom, the privacy policy, disclaimer, all of that, copyright. But let's jump over to the page that shows when they sold this site, when the income school folks sold the site, they sold it for $321,000. So can you make money from niche websites? Yes. Can you make $321,000? Maybe. <laughs> you might make nothing. It depends, right? It just depends. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not truly just passive. You got to put in a lot of work for this kind of thing, but it can, it can work. You can actually make money on it. It could be your full-time job eventually if you could build it up. Here at the time they sold it, it was making $8,684 a month. Uh, now, at the time that I'm recording this, websites are selling at a pretty high multiple, somewhere usually around 36 to 40 times what it makes in a month. So if you did the math, you know, $8,684 a month, around 100 grand a year, times three years, a little more than three years. I mean, it makes sense that it sold for that price. And here they listed that it was currently monetized, basically ads only. So we just looked at that article that showed us it was an affiliate you know, based article. So whoever bought this has continued to monetize it with affiliate, which is a great idea. Uh, and again, at the time I'm recording this, it feels like more and more people are doing information only content and not using affiliate. And some of that's because Google has done some updates where if, you're, if your website was an affiliate only website, might've got hit pretty hard. You know, maybe your traffic got cut in half or worse. And so a lot of people are, are um, gravitating towards doing ads and, and information content only. But a good a mix is great, especially if it makes sense. And especially for a site like this that already has authority, lots of traffic for that buyer to add on affiliate made a lot of sense. So let's look at our second website. This is bestroofbox.com. If you uh, look at uh, go on YouTube and look for WP Eagle and you see Alex's channel there. He built this website and you can actually watch a playlist and see kind of the whole journey of the site from the beginning until he sold it. I believe he sold this site for $70,000. So again, lots of money to be made if you can be successful building niche websites online. Bestroofbox.com and he's got buyer's guides here, car specific guides. I'm sure that's how a lot of traffic comes here. I don't know what roof boxes I'd want to put on my Audi. I don't have an Audi. That'd be great to have an Audi. But here you go, Audi roof box guide. I've heard Alex talk about in an interview on YouTube how, especially being not from the United States, there were probably some cars that they they were he was outsourcing for his writers to write content for, not knowing that that car probably isn't going to work for a roof box because maybe it's a convertible or something like that. Um, so anyway, this site is mostly buyer's guides and information about putting a roof box on top of your car. If you searched, I need a you know, roof box for and put in a very specific car model like Honda Pilot, you know, and maybe even put it in the year 2016 or something like that. There just wasn't a ton of content on the Internet about that. And so he capitalized on that, writing articles for all kinds of different vehicles and even had. Um, different questions, the more general questions, you know, can, you know, a car with a roof box fit in a parking garage? Is it better to have a roof box on top or a car rack in the back? I don't know. I'm making these up. I have no idea if he wrote for those, but this is another great example of a niche website that was making money each month. And if you jump over to his channel, you can even see how much, but then he sold it for 70,000. Our next website is swimuniversity.com. I first heard about this site by watching an interview with the owner of this website on YouTube talking about niche websites. And I learned in that video that at that time, this site was making about $400,000 a year. Again, I'm showing you probably high end websites. None of my websites make anything like what we're talking about so far in this video. But, and I really like this site for a lot of reasons. If you watch the video, which I'll link to it in the description, to that interview, you'll hear him talk about how, you know, he doesn't like uh, lots of ads and all that stuff. So this is mostly an affiliate website. He likes to keep a nice clean look to his posts. He doesn't write a ton of content. He wants to get to the point and it'd be very quick and to the point in helping the reader, which I think is awesome. 
And what's funny about this website is, and here's the owner right here in this video, I heard about this on YouTube, right? I went to the site and checked it out as somebody who's just wanting to learn more about building niche, niche websites. And then a couple months go by and it's summer here where I am in kind of the mid-Atlantic in the United States. And it's time to get my pool set up again. I have one of these cheap kind of pop-up kind of pools. And man, I was running into some problems. And so I'm searching things. How to lower pH in a saltwater pool, you know, or how to, whatever it is. And sure enough, I'm finding videos and articles from Swim University, which makes sense. It's just a really well-established website in the niche. He even has this opt-in here to get this free cheat sheet. So he's taking advantage of YouTube, niche websites, affiliate. I don't think he uses ads. I think that was part of the, the, the interview that I heard that he doesn't like ads. If he put ads on this website, I mean, let's scroll here and see. You know, do we see any ads? That's a top pick. No, this is basically an affiliate article for the most part with information, again, linking to Amazon. So there's no ads. If he had put, if he did decide, hey, I want to put ads on this website, 400,000 could easily be 600,000 or 700,000. Now, and sometimes you're picking between the two or you're doing a mix of both. They do compete, right? If you have ads on your site, then maybe it's going to compete against the affiliate links that you're trying to send people to. But my point is, this is just a really good website built up over time. And now it's an authority. If you search a lot of stuff about your pool uh, or your hot or your hot tub, you're probably going to come across Swim University. So now let's jump to our fourth website. This is GoDownsize.com. Uh, again, this is somebody who builds niche websites. This is built by Morton. If you are not familiar with Morton's channel, I'd encourage you to check that out. Again, I'll link to that in the description. He has a lot of websites that he doesn't tell us what they are, but this is the one or one that we do know about. If I go to the about page here and scroll right here, you see Morton's picture right there. So he talks about this website in his videos. I've learned a lot from watching his YouTube channel, so I'd highly recommend you go there and subscribe to that if you're looking to build niche websites. But let's click on this first article here. Written with, this has become really popular with niche websites, having a table of contents, especially if it's going to be a really long, uh, meaty article. So as I scroll down, you got picture. Obviously, here are the ads that are showing. This thing is telling me I need to take a trip. I've seen an Airbnb ad, a VRBO ad, right? Uh, latest video. So this is a video ad, which you can make a lot of money with video ads on your site if you're using you know, an ad provider that allows you to do that. So where can you camp for free in Arkansas? And it's just a list, right? And, and simple content, probably outsourced at this point. If you don't have the money for that, then you write your own content from the beginning and, and you can build something similar to this. Now, all the sites I'm showing you, super established, making a lot of money. But, and the point is just to show you what niche sites can be, what do they look like? How are they monetized? And this last one, was also built, this is concretequestions.com. This was also built by the folks at Income School. And mostly all the content was written by their outsourced team of writers. If you go to contentwarrior.com, you can see that. You can even hire uh, folks from there to write for your site. Although at the time I'm recording this, it's really hard to, to get it. It's pretty limited. And then they sold this site really before it was ever truly monetized. So somebody bought this. They, here's an ad up here, you know, an ad here. So obviously it's being monetized with ads. When they sold it, let's jump over here to their site. They sold it for $15,000. It had up to 5,000 page views a month. It had not been monetized yet. So there were no earnings. And it tells you when it was established, how many posts it had, and you know, how you could potentially make money with it. So I know I'd be curious to know whoever bought this. I'd love to see, you know, once they bought it for 15,000 before it was even monetized, how much is it making, you know, and how long did it take to get there? But this is, it's an, it's another reminder that you can make niche sites about all kinds of things. You know, here's the, these ads are becoming popular where you see them before you click into the page. The, I mean, who would have thought that you could make a website about concrete and make money off of it, right? Especially if you're not some kind of concrete provider. And this is what's happening right here. It's a website about concrete. Here's an exciting article about removing paint from concrete floors. 
I don't, I'm, I wonder if I've ever had to do that. I probably have had to do that at some point, And this site would have been helpful because I could have searched that if it was ranking high, all of a sudden, you know, I would see that site and it'd be helpful to me and I'd see ads and who knows if I clicked on it, maybe I would make money for the owner of that website. So that's five examples of niche websites, what they're like. They could look different. The topic could be about just about anything. If you're going to build a niche website, you have to think about what is my topic going to be? And are there already a ton of people out there writing about that? Like, will the competition be really strong? Or is this something that doesn't have enough, you know, content on the web yet about it? And it's going to be pretty easy for you to build a website, write the content, start ranking, and then eventually drive uh, or make money off of that through ads or affiliate or whatever. So there are five examples of niche websites. If you are interested in building niche websites, you might want to do what I did and join the Income School membership, onlinebusiness.tv slash Income School. That's my affiliate link. You don't have to use that. Uh, and you don't even have to use Income School. I mean, there's lots of people on YouTube that you can follow. I mentioned Alex and Morton. There's tons of others out there as well that talk about this on YouTube. Uh, I've taken Morton's class. That's a really good course if you want to take his course in addition to doing Income School. So there's lots of ways that you can learn how to do this. But the point is, to start, to jump in, start creating a niche site so that you can create that passive income as well. Might not be successful, might be Swim University, make $400,000 a year. I don't know. I guess you'll have to find out. If you are creating a niche website right now, comment in below and let me know what industry is it in. You don't have to, obviously don't tell us what the website is, but what area is your niche in? How far along are you? What are you seeing traffic wise or income wise if you've already monetized it? I would love to see that in the comments below.